Seton Hall Prep lost to Montclair Saturday in a game that featured 107 total points. We'll take a look at most of them here. Montclair running back Daniel Webb had a monster afternoon. It all started with his 67-yard touchdown run to open up the scoring in the first quarter and give Montclair a 7-0 lead. The Preps' Kyle Manungai had a day himself. He took his first carry across midfield for 25 yards and into Montclair territory and then later finished the drive with a one-yard touchdown run, his first of two on the afternoon, to tie the game at seven. The Prep gained some momentum after this fumble led to a Seton Hall field goal. That gave him a 10-7 lead, but Montclair's Daniel Webb didn't let it last long. He took a handoff for 77 yards and his second touchdown of the day on the very next drive. Montclair regained the lead and won it, let it back. Montclair scored 28 unanswered points on their way to a commanding 35-10 lead, the most notable of them being another long Daniel Webb touchdown run, 51-yard handoff to give them a comfortable lead with six minutes left in the first half. The prep answered with a touchdown drive of their own. Kyle Manungai picked up 15 yards on the ground, and then Dominic Busby caught this shovel pass from Cam Party and rumbled his way inside Montclair's 25-yard line. And then Andrew Perez finished the drive with his first touchdown catch of the game to narrow Montclair's lead to 35-17. To Both teams then exchanged blows. Montclair struck first with a 30-yard touchdown pass to Charles Murphy. And then Cam Carty found Andrew Perez streaking down the middle of the field for a 72-yard touchdown catch and run, his second of the day, to put the score at 42-24 to with only a couple minutes remaining in the first half. A big sequence in this game came on Montclair's following drive. Seton Hall picked up a sack in what looked like a fumble recovery. The refs blew it dead and ruled it an incomplete pass instead. Two plays later, Charles Murphy caught his second touchdown pass of the second quarter. This one for 72 yards to cap off a 49-point half for Montclair. Seton Hall showed a ton of fight in the second half. Sophomore Tyler Cook gave them a much-needed interception and brought it inside Montclair's 25-yard line. That set up Kyle Manungai for a five-yard touchdown run, his second of the day, to put the score at 49-31 in the third quarter. The prep got another interception from another sophomore just a few plays later. This time it was safety Ryan Monteleone, and Seton Hall was on the move once again. Kyle Manungai had over 160 yards rushing in this game. These 15 put Seton Hall across midfield and into Montclair territory. And then sophomore Dominic Busby set the Pirates up with first and goal after this 20-yard catch. But Seton Hall failed to punch it in for the score. Manungai got stuffed right at the inch line. And Montclair would take over on their own one-yard line. And then Daniel Webb, once again, the dagger in the heart. He had over 300 yards rushing and four touchdowns in this game. None bigger than this play right here to give Montclair a commanding 56-31 to advantage in the third quarter. Seton Hall would end up losing the game 63-44. Quarterback Cam Carty completed 27 passes for 360 yards and four touchdowns, all of which were thrown to Andrew Perez, who caught 12 passes for 214 yards and four scores. Kyle Manungai ran the ball 23 times for 161 yards and two scores, while Dominic Busby caught 10 passes for 125 yards. Seton Hall will host number one in the state, Bergen Catholic, next Saturday, November 4th at 2 p.m. in West Orange.